Hey guys, we're over here at Steve's Towing in Toronto. Toronto area, I guess. Steve, you got some fairly interesting cars here. What are they? Uh, we got a Lamborghini Hurricane. We got a, a 488 Ferrari. We got a 430 Ferrari. And some more in my house. So. Well, how many Ferraris do you have? Uh, oh my goodness gracious. Oh, well, this one here, I take it this here's the cream of your crop, this one here, or what is this? Uh, it's a Hurricane. Now, now, tell me a little bit. I don't know that much about these cars. We're just into old antique, antiquated stuff. What is this? This hurricane, is it good, bad, or indifferent? It's a good car, it's a great car. You know, we got it on December. We are not time to drive yet, but you know, man, it's a nice car. What does that say? Evo. Is it electric? Ah, uh, no, it's not electric. Oh my goodness gracious, you had me frightened there for a minute. There's electric. The last guy we went and seen, they had a hybrid electric Ferrari. Yeah, there's one came out, I see that already. Yeah, it's kind of a cool looking car. Yeah. So what about this car? Is it, uh, what, is there anything special about this car? It's a Lamborghini, that's it. <laughs> What's the top end, the production, good, bad, and yeah, different? They're good, they're good, they're good, they're good, you know. You want a Ferrari, you gotta have a Lamborghini. I guess, peel her back, can we take a little look at it? Yeah. Oh, look at that, hey? Look at that, and I think this is a mid-engine car, obviously. Yeah. Yes, indeed. What's it, uh... You know what? What's a convertible? That is very interesting how that door opens up. Oh, the smell. Yeah, it's nothing. The smell, hey? Ah, oh, smells like it smells like good leather. Yeah. Hey, come in here and take a look. Look at that. Now the top end, how fast, what's the top end? Not you will ever drive that fast, but what's the top end? Say you're on the Autobahn, what would be the top end? 360. Three, 360 kilometers an hour. My goodness gracious. You know, I noticed something fairly interesting about that door opening. Like there's no keyhole or nothing in it. How do you lock it? Remote, eh? So there's no key, that's very interesting. That's it, that's interesting. Oh, look at that. Interesting. Now, is this the latest model, newest model? The latest model, hey? Look at that, how that door closes. Just slicker than slick, hey? Yeah. You gotta love it. Listen, you know what? I tell you what, you see this? These Dunlops have been in just about everything. They are car-worthy boots. <laughs> I tell you what, my friend, this is one comfortable vehicle. Yeah, you do. I tell you. Wow. I tell you what, this is one kick ride, my friends. I tell you what, guys, you gotta be careful. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I tell you. You know, I got only one question. What does insurance work for this, for a month? You know, I can tell you guys, all the luxury car I own, I think I pay about $18,000 a month. I got a G bag and my wife got another Mercedes too. My daughter's driving a Mercedes. All these cars. $18,000 a month. $18, so what do you figure this is worth a month for uh, insurance? I believe it's a year, I pay $32,000. There you have it guys. I better get a better job. <laughs> hey, notice you have a Ferrari here too. What is this? It's a 488 GTB. Now, that's a good car. That's an amazing car. Yeah. But I noticed something else that's kind of caught my interest out of the corner of my eye amongst these supercars. 
What are these parts for back here? Oh, this is a 1957 uh, Mercury. 1957 yeah. Mercury, eh? A Mercury? What kind of a Mercury is it? Uh, you know what? Don't ask me a question. <laughs> I'm, I have it in my leasing company, so. Okay. Well, that's pretty interesting. Yeah. So you're into new stuff and old stuff. Old stuff, yeah. Yeah. We're going to go look at some interesting old stuff over at one of the local over in uh, in Chatham yeah. at R&M. Yeah. yeah. He's got some interesting stuff over there. I have some interesting cars. You guys want to do my auto and leasing my company? Okay. Yeah, I have some very interesting old pickup trucks. Oh, nice. Cars. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, you know, it's very interesting that people, they let us in, such as yourself, to look at some of their prized possessions. It's, it's very interesting what people have hiding away in their garages. Like it's, you know, it's something, you know, that you have a hobby, you know what I mean? You, have, you work for it, why not, you know? Yeah, but your hobby's different than mine. I collect marbles. <laughs> <laughs> it looks a bit different. It's red on red, or, or what is the interior of this? It's all uh, custom. Uh, red leather, red seat belt, everything. It's a custom order. Now everybody wants to know the question. How much is this car worth on, on an average without any options on it? A couple million dollars. Now is that classified as a good price for it or a bad price? It only is bought because you wanted it. I just wanted it. Let's buy it. Now, what's this one? Is this is this Lamborghini worth more? Um, that's about the same thing. About you know, maybe six hundred thousand. Interesting. Now, here's the other question I'm really curious about. That everybody out there, the viewers, are curious. Do you let your kids drive them? <laughs> yes, I'm a little bit. My daughter they drive. Yes. Oh, nice. Yes. Yes. Nice. My, my wife drives this one. Nice. Yeah. Well, let me tell you what. My child would have this one driven over a curb somewhere, hung up probably. Yeah. It's, you know, it's a nice car to go, you know, I mean, but, um, when you die, you're not going to take that with you, definitely not. You know, they're going to give you a wooden box, the same as me, you have the same box. I got, you know what? So, minus, so, you know what, you work for it, you enjoy it. I tell you what, there's too many people, I think, that have stuff, and they do not use it. They look at it, use it, enjoy it. That's mine as well, too. Yes, that, you know what, and I like that. Yeah. It's like a building. People do stuff outside of the building. I'm doing inside the building. Exactly. <laughs> you know what I mean? It just, you know, I, I carry a different standard in my life. I carry a different way in my work, my cars. This is all it's got to be. I tell you what, you know, I noticed something else about the interior of this car. These two cars, this Lamborghini and this Ferrari, are very, very, very much two totally different animals, eh? Yeah, yeah. Different. Now, what do they drive like compared to one to the other? Do they drive the same or 100% different? They, they sound different, feel different, different. Now, this car has how many cylinders in this car? Uh, it's four cylinders, it has, it's Nice, eh? Well, that, is that ever cool? Now this interior is absolutely stunning on this vehicle, by the way. It's red on red and black, eh? Yeah, so the custom I ordered the way I want it. So it's got, you know what I mean, red roofing, dash. It's a interesting car. I tell you what, I, I haven't figured out which interior I like better. The, you know, the two vehicles are so much different. But I tell you what, they're both absolutely stunningly beautiful. Yeah, there's one more you can really take Okay, let's take a gander. Look at the horse right here, eh? The yeah. prancing horse. Yeah. It's been around since the beginning of time. Yeah. Hey? Eh? I noticed this car is a different color. Did you have to special order it blue or did it come like that? Um, it is a one point this variety out of this blue color, so when they see it, I fall in love with it, so I say, you know what, I bought it. How many of these are painted blue? Is it like I say, is it is it very few? I don't think there's a lot I see in my life, probably very few. And now how long have you owned this one for? Since 2005. Amazing. I tell you what, you, you, again, you drive them. I see a few stone chips on the front here and stuff. So This one I got a little bit driving, yes. But yes. It's, it's got a little kilometer on it. Less, less, uh, less than 20,000. Oh, nice, nice, nice. And again, what year is this? 2005. 2005, huh? Yeah, you have a custom rim. Same color of the car. Now this has kind of got your traditional Ferrari brown leather in it, hey? That's kind of a traditional thing, the brown leather. Wow. I tell you, 
you know, as all as I can say, it's a nice thing that you can follow your love and passions of yeah. what you like, huh? You know? I love cars and you know, something I always... I tell you what, if there's something to love, it is vehicles. I tell you what. Yeah. I'm just real curious. I look at this and you go, what more could you possibly want? But I'm curious. What else are you dreaming about? What is on your bucket list that you figure that you need to own? I don't think I need anything. Everything I want, I have. You know, that's absolutely wonderful. Beautiful family and business, cars, what else I want? What else could you want? I can't ask more than that. I was wondering, can I put myself up for adoption? <laughs> <laughs> I see you got two Ferraris and one Lamborghini here. But I look over here and I see a wagon here. Like, that's like having two race horses and a donkey. Yeah, yeah, so. What is, uh, what is, what is, what is your love for this wagon here? It's, you know, it's a fun thing, you know, I mean, you gotta, you know, hold a vehicle, I wanna see, come on, get into it, see how I like it. But I don't think I'm gonna be driving it, but again, you know, I mean, it's a passion, you know? When you have nothing to do, you just have something to keep you busy. You know what, it's very interesting yeah. that your palate and taste of vehicles goes from this wagon here to these high-end, uh, it's, it's the first uh, Jeep came out and plus, you know, 4x4, four four, you know what I mean? Okay. Yeah, so like, you know, let's get something done and then we'll talk about What year is this? I believe it's 57. No kidding. Yes. I would have thought it was newer than that. No, no. It's very, you know, see the condition when we go out of here, you're going to be surprised. Is that right, eh? It looks actually very, very, very straight. Yeah. Because it does, but you can see the paint. I tell you what, it's another blue. For, it's another blue, blue color, blue, eh? Yeah, blue. Yeah, absolutely wonderful. I tell you what, I like that. It does amazing work. You know, I mean, we do. Uh, we do. Uh, I tell you, simply marvelous. I see you got a paint booth over here, and you're yes. working on something fairly interesting. Tell me, what is it? Yeah, it's a uh, it's a port. Uh, what is it called? Uh, pickup truck, I guess. You know, what I mean, it'll be El Camino. I do uh, believe. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. Basically, is somebody paint this car a wrong color? See, if you look at it here, it's all this thing is filling up. Okay. Right? So, we're gonna take it out. We're gonna put a new coat of paint, make it look like brand new car again. I tell you what, there's a lot of work in that, eh? Yes, yes. A lot of work in it, yeah. It's an amazing painter, I gotta give him my credit, you know? Well, that's good. Because my problem, point it is, when you die, but I'm gonna find another guy like him, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you. It's another iconic old piece, eh? You gotta love it. Yeah, I believe it's 68, this car. 68? Yeah, 68. I like it. You know what? Thank you very much for showing me your stuff. Yes. You know, I really appreciate that. No problem. Okay, because you know what I mean? It's uh, it's quite a thing for somebody to show their passion to somebody else that they don't really know a whole lot. I just met you here a little while ago, but I appreciate it 100%. Thank you for letting me in. No problem, sir. Okay.